in some cases we've got them operating. We yesterday were trying to operate new sites. Um, the trucks that were supposed to come couldn't come because they couldn't access any fuel. This morning we hope to go to more sites. The same problem. The water trucks can't get out. There's no fuel for them. And this is really a major problem now. Aid is being flown in from all around the world. Uh, deliveries are coming, but we can't get the deliveries to the people in the places that need it most. And this is an issue that really urgently needs attention. I mean, what principally can be done about that, do you think? And how impatient are the people here getting? Um, one solution is to establish a fuel depot, possibly at the airport. This, this really needs to be sorted out by the UN or a major um, operator like the US military to guarantee there is fuel for people who are delivering aid to the people in need. Um, as to the people, they're getting increasingly desperate. We're now into uh, several days since the earthquake struck. They can cope for a few days, but when there's no water, when there's little food, when they have no money and when there's no shelter, it's getting worse and worse. People told me yesterday our situation is getting worse. At the moment, people have been incredibly resilient, incredibly calm. Yes, there have been isolated cases of looting and, and some violence, but really, on the scale of things, it's very limited. But if it goes on like this, we, we just can't predict what will happen. And your priority is clean water. I mean, the dangers in terms of disease, if you can't get clean water to people? Absolutely, waterborne diseases. People are going to be drinking dirty water, things like typhoid and cholera. Another key issue for us is sanitation. People are living outside in parks. There are no toilets. They're defecating outside. Um, we're trying to, to set up temporary latrines, dig pit toilets for people. Again, we've got wood now. We're ready to do that, but it could be a problem getting the trucks to the places where we need to start the work. Caroline Gluck there from Oxfam. And if there's a message from the Haitians here behind me tonight, it is that they need more aid much, much more quickly. You've been watching a BBC News special from me, Ben Brown, in Haiti.